Morning. I swear a lot. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the therapy campaign. So, it continues to be as tenuous as ever, I suppose. This fucking terrifies me, this situation up here. I don't... <sighs> If the lady wills it. I don't see these three armies taking on Umgrim, I really don't. Even with the garrison of granite spikes behind them. It's not adding really anything of any significant value, it's just adding more chaff infantry. <laughs> Maybe the archers will help? I don't fucking know. If I'm right, let me have a quick look at Umgrim, just for a moment. Yeah, he's level 38, which is a poor start. He's, yeah, unbreakable. Has 30% ward save. Can he regenerate per chance? Just need to find out. Fortunately, no. When he dies, when he takes damage, he takes damage. But he's not going to be taking damage very fast or very often with 90 melee defense, 147 armor, fucking 30 ward save, and then 25% missile resistance, giving him 55% missile resistance and also resistance to magic. Yeah, 35%. And fire. Which is why I didn't want to lean into fire arrows too much, because I thought, hey, if we ever fight dwarfs, so you know they won't help very much. Protect and sure enough, we're fighting dwarfs, and sure enough, we have fire archers here. So they'll be useless, I guess. It's also worth pointing out, I noticed, that most no of this way. army is heavy weaponry, which means they're going to obliterate us before they even get into melee, where we won't beat them in melee anyway. So that bothers me. It does. You know, it's whatever. I see a very big Clan Angrand army over there, and that bothers me. The lords of the What's up, Safri? You want me to join the war against the Drowned? Nah. Focus on the Dwarfs, eh? Little bit of a more pressing concern. I think Sigma, the uh, Cult of Sigma, just took care of that Karakazorn army over here. So that's dealt with. Orkmar did some good. Karak Ziflin have been destroyed. That's a good fucking sign. That's one less Dwarven faction to deal with. We'll continue working on diplomacy so we can hopefully bring more people into this war. Yes. Rapons, please. Welcome. What business have you with me? We need time for their attitude to actually improve before we can do anything with them. Fantastic. Okay. By the time this video goes up, the music video for Dead by Dawn, which is uh, a song by uh, Velvet Dead, which is my band, uh, will have already premiered on this channel. I'm running out of money. Fuck, I did not notice that. That's really bad. Um, but uh, at time of recording, it's going up tomorrow. And that's a whole thing. That's pretty spooky. That's pretty cool. That that's occurring, you know? Like, yeah, we've already had a song go up, like, um, Cassette 666 is currently on the Velvet Dead channel. Um, my path is but yeah, having it not only premiering another not. song, but having it premiere on my channel is pretty fucking big and pretty fucking exciting. So, looking forward to that. You know who I am? It shall be so. I believe our plan is, in fact, to uh, have the entire album. So. This isn't oh, confirmed. No. Oh, this yes. is as far as I know I the situation right now. But I believe the plan is to have the entire album on my channel, my which is an interesting is choice. Door. I don't disagree with it. I just think it's an, it's an interesting choice. It's an interesting move uh, in terms oh, of marketing no, and stuff. Not a bad out. one. It's just interesting. Uh, and I'm not going to lie, a little nervous because... Yes. Fucking, I've never been in a band before, and I've never performed, never really performed music in my life, and it's going on my fucking channel. The lady be upon you. Dubois' army is ready. Very good. We can send them out. We'll see how long they last. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. There's the sea lane we need to get to. We need to save some money, because we're going broke. Do either do any of these armies have uh yeah, we already have a life caster, so we don't actually need OCN's army right now. No, we don't. Okay, so we're gonna get we're gonna get rid of it. We're gonna put you in there. There we go, and we'll we'll disband this army because we don't actually need it and we don't have the money. Now we're not entirely broke. Gaspard, I'm gonna send you a support, uh, fucking Zeno and, ooh, what is her name again? Laurie, yeah, it's been a while. Send you a support, those two. Wargrove of Woe are pretty wealthy. You watch Xi Long? Yeah, you do. And you want a military alliance. And that's enough money to do what I want. And also a military alliance which more intrinsically ties our factions together. Yeah. There we go. 
that helps. Okay, all right, we can get some stuff going here. And the funny thing is, like, this isn't necessarily a good thing because the Wargrove of Woe are pretty much our allies now, like, almost no two ways about it. But these factions, well, I mean, actually, Shi Long will do something for them because, um, Wood Elves do actually make a fair bit of money from ports, but a lot of these settlements do nothing for them, like almost nothing. Not completely nothing, but almost completely nothing. There's very little they gain from it. In faith. I need a Grail Shrine, and I need that, and I need you guys to finish building it yesterday. If we want to hold this position, <laughs> I need these things. Soon. But on top of that, I also just need places that make money. Like, yeah, getting a cellar will help. I need to start getting the economy back up because much... Uh, I'm getting flashbacks to the fucking Solaris series now, but... Oh boy, yeah. You really need to start putting some money back into the economy, hey? It turns out Hellstorm rocket batteries require... I haven't used them very often, by the way. I should clarify, I don't play Empire very often. And I haven't used Hellstorm rocket batteries very often because I also haven't used the Cathayan equivalent. I usually go for, like, Grand Cannons and stuff. Um... Yeah, it turns out to get actual value out of Hellstorm rocket batteries, it requires a little more finesse and a little bit more careful aiming than you might expect. So, that's another thing to consider when taking them into battle, because when we fought uh, Karakazorn with um, Zeno and Lori, man, the uh, the Hellstorm rocket batteries did not deliver their value. I would request they join more wars, but the fact that they're already at war with Karakadrin puts them in a very awkward position. They are in a scary place. I'll just take more of their money. Fuck it. The Wood Elves like me. That's good. I like trees. I like playing druids. Like, that's cool. We'll fight the rocket launchers and shotguns and fucking flamethrowers and all that with trees. Yeah? That'll work out. I kind of want these two to take Veil of Titans, because I do kind of want that. Oh god, Belagar's back. Top Keck. I know that's not what he said, but it fucking sounds like it. I'm not going to rush these two, though, because they actually heal better here because the enemy own it. So may as well give them a moment to replenish. Moore's prophecy. That's a relatively strong army, but I reckon just with sheer numbers we can take that out. Praise Sigma. Volkmar is coming Blessings to help. He's Lincoln going to get Lincoln. fucking bodied by Belagar. I think not. <laughs> well, I mean, try and have a little more confidence in yourself, my good man. If the lady wills it. Very well, if you insist. It's Karak Khan, not Karak Kant. Right? With these two armies, we will have to kick Clan Angrind out of here. We cannot have Belagar and his unbreakable fucking heroes and shit loitering around in this region anymore. We can't have an additional faction attacking us in this region anymore. How are Angrind doing all the way over here? I would assume they've been drowned by their enemies by now. No, they're doing surprisingly well. That's depressing. They still do only own uh, Zaraxil and Miragliano, though, so hopefully those guys will take care of it for me. I will still probably have to come here at some point and take Zaraxil just so I have the location for the campaign win objective, but if Clan Angrand could fucking do one and go away, it would help us immensely. My reputation precedes me. You guys are dug in around granite spikes. At least every turn they delay, the peasants are gaining experience and getting slightly stronger. Protector of the realm. My reputation precedes me. And we are gaining uh, winds of magic here now, actually. So every turn that they don't attack granite spikes, which is good because they've actually seemed to have fucked off. Uh, our ability to defend it is improving. I would honestly 100% advocate just keeping these guys here. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Build up the defenses on granite spikes as much as we physically can. Let the elves run oh, sorties if they want to and like poke at them and attack them and whatever. We will hold position. The Safari won't get wiped out if we hold this position because they have to go through granite spikes in order to get to Safari. We will just hold this position right here. Lord. 
and allow our allies to conduct the war with like little to no risks to their actual territory. Which is quite a generous gift and they should really fucking appreciate it, don't you think? Keep it going, Mr. Dubois. We've got things to do. Mr. Dubois! How do you like that chair? Well, I, go. I do a mean Everett impression. Of the realm. I'm a fucking criminal. I'm a fucking stupid idiot. I'm also very immature. We've got units. We now need to invest in the economy. 100%. That's what we got to do now. After we've got the diplomatic relations with the Tomb Kings up, every research from now on will either be improving our units or improving the economy. Preferably both, but I don't think there are any that do both. So we'll be focusing on, the, on those two things. Tancred can take Belagar. Tancred is very good. Only the Grail companions of old could hope to best me, yet you would try with words. I didn't even know you were still alive. You want peace? Uh, while we're fighting dwarfs and considering you're also fighting the dwarfs. Yeah, sure. We will eventually have to deal with the Dark Elves. We will. Nagarond, I think it was Harganeth, and the Blessed Dread all in these mountains. In the mountains, I think it's the Mountains of Morn. I don't remember. Point is, they're all here. That can't be ignored forever. It can, however, be set aside to deal with the Dwarven threat. Dwarven threat. Because they are dwarfs. Because in Warhammer, it's not Dwarven with a V. It's Dwarf with an F. Which is so needlessly confusing on my mouth. Don't like it. Hey, the Great Hall of Greasus is getting a garrison. Uh, he's getting an outpost. That's nice. Maybe we'll hold it against something. I doubt it, honestly. That's fine. That's nothing to do with us. Regular tournaments will be very useful to get. We need our knights to fight better. The Groby Nutter is here. I will not disgrace my ancestors. I think he might have beaten uh, Volkmar's ass. It looks like he did. Could we perhaps beat his my ass? And wisdom are yours. He's not within range of his allies, which means we can swoop in and take care of him. Is it going to have to be another incredibly awkward manually fought battle where I attempt to keep casualties to a minimum? Oh, you guys know me so well. Of course it is. Of course it's going to be. Yeah. But uh, that might be necessary. Protector of the realm. For the lady. A lot of hammers. I got a plan for this battle. We can make use of our army a little bit. As far as I can see, they don't have, like, siege artillery or anything like that, so we actually have a ranged advantage, which is unusual. Yeah. All we really need to do is make sure that, um, the, what are they called? What are they fucking called? Gyrocopters fuck off, which won't be difficult. Most of our heroes are flying. But I'm just going to casually wait for my reinforcements set up like the strongest side we physically can and then go for them. They've only got one unit that can do like, well, not including the gyrocopters, which we are going to just deal with straight away. They've only got one unit of miners with blasting charges. That's the only thing that can do damage over multiple units and have like splash damage and shit. So we can just set up a really strong d defensive position and shoot them to death whilst our heroes go in and muss them up. 
the smart thing to do would actually be to just fight this with my heroes, but I fear by this point that that would be a tad too dull. We can't do it every single time because I mean, we just can't. That's not fun. <laughs> it just isn't. <laughs> Gotta have fun sometimes. If I wanted to play Helldivers effectively, I wouldn't touch the fucking railgun since it's nerfed, but I still use it because I like the gun. It's fun to use. I like how you can fire and reload very quickly. I don't even touch on safe mode. I don't even use that gun properly, but I like it. So, you know, sometimes you just gotta have fun. I don't know. Paladin of Bretonia. I really need to put Slaw on a fucking um, Pegasus. Having flying units has become increasingly more important over time. Oh, they're actually going to charge us. Ah, oh, I wasn't expecting them actually to charge us. Well, they can body the uh, gyrocops to the very least. So you get down there and deal with the archers. You chase the gyrocopters. If you chase them off the field, that works too. Yeah, they've been put. I was about to put them in a control group and realize they already are. That's good. Blow up your friends. It's very funny. 15 seconds. I'll charge that side, which will keep them tied up. And then we'll bring mortars in to nuke them. Tancred's got it under wraps. No worries. They're almost dead. I want you to destroy all of them, even though this army will be destroyed once we win this battle, because they've already retreated. formations a little bit, you know, just in case it comes to a thing. They might end up charging after we've done enough damage, so we should be careful. There we go. And then you guys over here, so there's plenty of firepower to hit them. Yeah, they are kind of moving past Tancred by this point. Tancred, kill their leader. Do a nice big night charge, you'll be funny. We are ready. You guys were stopped more dead than I thought you would be. Anchorage, you're struggling with that more than I thought you would. I guess Dwarf Lords are pretty tough, like... We have to acknowledge this. I'm not sure there's gonna be any decent targets for the Mortar, to be honest. Yeah, now you're getting him. Defenders of the rim. They're being driven off, that's good. Crew Bretonian. 
Ah, oh, mortars! Oh, stop! Oh, that did not help. Oh, that didn't help. Nope. Nope, that was no good. There we go, that gone. We took some damage, but nothing too serious. Probably should have just really just fought that with my heroes, but uh, I didn't want to do every fucking battle with that. It's ta it takes ages, it takes fucking ages, and we're doing videos, and it's not fun or interesting to watch Tancred tank 50 million dwarfs. First time, sure. It was pretty cool. Fifth time? No. I made these armies. I'd quite like to use them. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Shall murder them all. Okay, now I'm going to do this now so I don't fucking forget. Slol, buddy, here's a Pegasus. You're a Pegasus knight now. Instead of the Pigeon Plucker Pendant, I'm going to give you the Seed of Rebirth, and now you can regenerate in combat. Most of the time, these paladins and heroes are kind of working more as, like, tanks than actual uh, unit killers, especially now that he's got more health. So, yeah, the ability to regen will be helpful. Uh, do that. Good. And, and I can't, but that's okay. Go there. I have seen your heart. I think if I force Marsh Nezra up there to be part of the army, they'd just attack her first and... Not possible. She'd still win, I guess. My sight is yours. Yeah, fuck it, push up. Let's have all of our units in one place. My steps are guided. Dwarfs, do not. And I say this with 100% confidence as opposed to the 99% confidence with which I say most other. things. Dwarfs do not ambush on attack. They do not. They simply don't. Moore's prophecy. They are incapable of such. These ogres, I firmly believe we can deal with them, and then we can have more land and more money. Cool. Might be able to knock these guys out straight away. I am a lord of Britonia. Never. And then these guys can rest while they wait for uh, Gaspard to show up. And then there's uh, three unit, ar three army, army here. Three armies of armies. Yes, good. Yes, very good. Decisive victory. We would still. Oh, I don't want to lose the celestial lion though. I don't care much about the peasants, but I like the Celestial Lion. It's not a proper siege battle, which is annoying actually. A proper siege battle would have been easier. Having said all that though, I think maybe, considering their lack of ranged units, we might be able to do a better job than what the Aura Resolve is giving us. I can accept losing peasants, they are so easily replaced, but the Celestial Lion, which as we saw in that battle against the Dwarfs, was actually genuinely useful. Not as strong as like a fucking Bretonian Lord on a fucking Griffin, but fulfilled a similar role and did a decent job of it. I don't want to fucking lose it. But I suspect the Lion will melt roughly as quickly as it did when, um... Actually, don't waste that much. As roughly as quickly as it did when the fucking uh, Dwarfs hit it. You guys might want to get moving. Turn off skirmish mode, move of your own accord. 
If we can lure them forward and have the archers take care of them, that would be ideal. So ye sang. From right, yeah, they have very little armor. And if they demure and don't... I mean, they might come that way, but we'll have to face them if they do. If they don't immediately attack, every second they waste improves our chances because our reinforcements will arrive. Yeah, they didn't make it to the lines. Sucks to be them. Those are some free and easy kills as well. Cool. Now that they've been dealt with, you guys get out there and start nuking some ogres. I don't think the grenade... Are the grenade launchers... They're not armor-piercing. You guys halt fire, because you're just wasting it now. Saber tusks come back, they're easily dealt with. We want to wait. They're not charging yet, they're expecting us to charge. Here we go. Don't fire at will. I don't want them to fight. I don't want them to charge yet. Oh, it looks like they might be on the move. Maybe. They might just be moving because more units have shown up and they're trying to face them, as it were. I've got the cannons there, but I don't know how much they're going to get to do from there. But you know what? It's going to have to be fine. The great swords are going to do terribly because most of their army is large, but you know what? It's fine. We'll pop a line along here. Oh, I want to make a point to set up most of the archers here because I think this is where most of the fighting will be joined. They're definitely moving in on us now, so I want the grenadiers to start dealing with them. Can you keep healing that, please? Thank you. They are sending some forces around that side, I have noticed. Yeah, doing some decent damage. Oh, that's a point. Um, you guys fire at will now. Because they are charging. There's no point demurring on that anymore. I need you to go stop them. You go with him. I hate managing a two-front fight. It's always a bother. <laughs> Necessary sometimes, but a bother. You're going to need to go back behind the lines. You come down here, so you're just sort of nearby and helping. Managed to get them to back off. That's good. You guys keep going. Is there a better... The terrain is frustratingly flat. Keep going as you were, then. Whatever. What orders? Now! And ready. You're there. They're about to break. They have broken. Fuck, that was quick. You come back around. We need your help still. That left flank is falling, so I need you guys to face over there. I want you to come round. You guys have done it. Marvelous. Get down there. Kill more ogres. Glory managed to do some damage. That's nice. See if you can get down there and deal with them. below. Is there a good place you can hit them? Not really. They're not really clumped up. 
Nah, this isn't the type of army where um, Dwellers Below is particularly good. Hit them with something. It gives them something to think about. I noticed some peasants here who aren't fucking doing anything. Go jump on them. You shoot them. You shoot them. How are you guys doing? It's fine, I guess. How's Laurie doing? She's okay. Drink your potion. Throw down a little healing spell to just help everyone, I guess. They've been dealt with. Good. Run them off the field. Go deal with them. You guys aren't doing anything. You can come over here. How are you doing? You're fine. It's just the artillery that's taking hits. You go around there and shoot them in the back. Shoot them. They're all backing off. You guys turn around, face that way. Start firing. How's Laurie doing? She's still okay. Good. Heal yourself. I want to keep you nice and topped up. Peasants getting bodies to hit them with a spell. It won't do much, but it'll give them something to think about. Probably hurt the peasants more than it hurt them. You guys aren't actually... Oh, you know what? I have decided I want you to go away. We're not actually getting a lot out of spells in this battle anyway, because their army's just not vulnerable to it. Alright, you two get over there. You two go over there. You come back this way. Great swords are getting involved. You're taking hits. I don't like it. Oh god, I told you guys to not fire, didn't I? Yeah, whoops. Get down there. You're dealing with them. Shot them in the back. You cease firing immediately. We don't need to kill any more of them because their army's fucked. It will disappear after this. That's a point, actually. Yuzu can stop firing now. You contributed virtually nothing to this battle, but you know, it's whatever. Uh... Once again, Celestial uh, Lion proving to be very useful. I didn't even get to use its roar. And by get to, I mean I forgot. And just... I was micromanaging a bit and didn't really have time. This is why the peasant crap stack is all well and good for, like, providing a fucking meat shield for your enemies to try and get through, but it... It's a meat shield that doesn't last. You need something strong to kill the enemy if you're going to use peasant crap stacks, because the peasants will not hold. You can make them if you get 50 million armories and give them a fuck ton of armor, but... That's expensive, takes a while, is difficult, and is not entirely practical. <laughs> Decisive victory, though. The game seemed pretty happy with how I handled that, despite suffering over 800 losses. To their 800 losses. But then again, most of our losses were peasants. Most of their losses were ogres. Actually, most of their losses were probably noblars and saber tusks, but still... Also, they lose all of their stuff now and we take the settlement, so it's worth it. We want to set this up as a place where these guys can replenish and as somewhere where they can make money, but I don't think it needs to be a defensive emplacement. I'll probably be proven wrong on that in the future, but having more money right now is more important than another defensive emplacement that I'm probably not going to hold because... Either A, they're going to send so much force they wouldn't matter, or B, they're just not going to come here. Lots of money, and a new settlement, and only one unit of peasants got wiped out. I consider that a very positive result. We could subjugate them, have a fucking... Ah, uh, nah. I told- I did say at the start of the series I wasn't really going to use- Because I have a mod which basically allows me to subjugate any faction that I defeat. Like, if I take their last settlement, I can subjugate them. And I think I did say at the start of this that I wasn't really going to use that, because it's kind of unfair. I do it for fun campaigns where I'm like, okay, I can recruit a whole bunch of interesting armies because I have access to um, uh, allied recruitment, but it is a bit broken to be able to do that, so yeah. We could do a campaign like that sometime, perhaps, but not this one. Okay, progress, progress. We may end up fighting Clan Angrand over the end turn, but I mean, if we can wipe out their armies, that would be ideal. We can just swoop in here, kick them out of Amble Peak, then come around here, take Karakazorn. And then it's just Karak Kadrin and Ironbrow's expedition in this region that we've got to deal with. Blessed Dread aren't at war with them, but I imagine that'll probably change. And they are at war with Karak Kadrin, so... How the fuck are the war hosts of the apocalypse not at war with the dwarfs? How the fuck has that happened? I suspect that this will not just be a war with the dwarfs because there are many, many chaotic factions in the area. 
who are frustratingly enough not at war with the dwarfs, which means I'll probably end up having to fight them and the dwarfs, which will make things even more awkward. We are actually stronger than Clan Angrind now, which leads me to believe that the majority of their military force is currently here, in Cathay, or near Cathay, which means their capital will probably get overrun, and they'll probably be destroyed, and then that's one less dwarven faction to deal with. Ungrim's now at Gorgia Rock, that's fine. Welcome, Whatever keeps them away from us. Let's hope we can come to an accommodation. You want me to join war against the Broken Axe? Who are all the way over there. Why are you still at war with them? I guess because you hate each other so much? I don't need more wars. I really don't. Any I can avoid, I will. Karakazorn have been destroyed. Who took the territory? Is the question. Nagarond. They will not give me Karakazorn and they will not be in an alliance with me, which means I have to fight Nagarond. We are going to have to fight the Dark Elves. There is no way around it. Now, the question is, do I do it now or do I do it later? That is the big question, in fact. I'm not sure. Do you know who I am? It really does feel like kicking the dwarfs out first should be top priority. How are things on the peasant front? It's all looking pretty secure. Because they're not attacking now, we're definitely going to be able to reinforce granite spikes to the fullest. They've already got grail knights in there now, which helps a lot. That upgrade will bring more defenses and a spellcaster, even though we've already got them. But still, that is useful. For the lady. Unsurprisingly, they're not entirely keen on the idea of standing and fighting. I am a rune lord, not some smith. Not the some smith. Of the lady be upon you. The lady wills it. That's right. Make them run away. Good. Good. Strike them down. And then we can take the settlement nice and easy. No problems. Good. Your coming was foretold. And if they do the same thing to us, well, Tancred's army's on the outside, so of the realm. I think he'll do all right. Guardian. They did the thing I said that they might do, which is uh, encircle the settlement and then attack these armies. I reckon we can give it a better go than the aura resolve implies, because I can see a fantastic choke point. And the rocket, so if I use them properly, then the Hellstorm rocket battery should do a lot of damage. Problem is, Cathay is so fucking forested that lots of ranged weapons become really ineffective here. Except for when the dwarves use them, at which point they're horrifically effective, and I know it's just because I'm not using them properly. I get it. I get it. I do. But it's harder to use them properly because the terrain isn't good. But the AI knows that. Why is that where the reinforcements are coming from? Oh, God. I shudder to think how long the reinforcements will take if I ask them to come from this direction instead. But let's find out, shall we? Four minutes. Can we last four minutes? No. It's the end of that question. But it is just not a good army for appearing behind their fucking lines. It won't work. But there is something worth taking heart from, though. Because we're setting up down here, we won't be in their vision. So, it might take them a while to find us. The Empire endures. For my lady. Quick march. No! You fools! Fire. What have you done? Stop firing! <laughs> Seeking enemy. You didn't even hit them properly! You killed three of them! Okay, look, it's rough terrain. They've got a long way to travel. They've got tiny dwarven legs. Maybe it'll take them three minutes. I doubt it, but who knows? See, we really need the heroes to come in and do their thing first because they've got miners with blasting charges and with such a uh, compacted fucking defensive position, they will absolutely wipe us out. And I need them to not do that. I have an idea. At once! Swiftly! Fast weed! 
What if I get them to follow Nezra instead? Come on, come on, make your way. They're not that tightly packed. You can get through. And God knows the peasants would fall over themselves to get out of their way if a fucking prophetess was coming through. Three minutes left. Just start riding over there. Draw them away. They'll see the Lord and be like, oh, yes, I do believe so. You just need to poke them a bit. That's all. You just got to poke them. Give them a poke. That's a poke. Oh, God, they're shooting. Oh, God, they're shooting. Oh, fuck. Uh, they have more quarrelers than I initially noticed. Now, I've got to be honest, lads. Uh, I don't think they're going for it. Whoops. Fuck it. Pass a few more spells at them. It's doing some damage, I suppose. Okay, well, you know what? They obviously know we're here, so why don't you start firing? Whatever you can hit. It's not an ideal position, so we have to say Okay, maybe not through the trees, hey. Maybe, maybe that way. Good news is they are actually following Nezra a bit. Alright, you guys, I want you to focus on those slayers. They are the most important thing. Rush those miners. Reinforcements are nearly here. Don't let them stop you. Don't let them stop you. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Don't let them throw. Don't let them throw. You're anti-infantry and armor piercing. You'll be all right. There we go. And you're in the trees, so the arrows will do less. It'll still hurt, but, uh, you know, less. What are you guys doing? Oh, God. I didn't put you on guard mode. Oh. Well, the miners are losing. That's something. 40 seconds. Can you guys please leave there? Oh god, I've had such a bad experience with Hellforce, Hellfire rocket batteries, Hellstorm rocket batteries. It's been so bad, and it's not the unit's fault, it's my fault. I know it is, I understand. Don't get it twisted. I know exactly whose fault this is. God damn, they might not even hold long enough for the rest of our forces to arrive. And it's not going to be a favorable position. Why is that fire? Oh, because there's another unit of them. Ugh. And of course, you only hit the fucking great swords. Even though when I use such a fucking unit, oh, <laughs> they, they see their allies. They see other dwarfs and they're like, man, they just look like they're easier to hit. And then they hit them. And they're like, hey, Lamau. And then they down a Bogmans. I've seen it. I shouted at them afterwards and they ignored me. Alright, we have to sort out this formation. We have to sort it out quick. You may as well come back around down here now. Not that, you. You two go in there, you go there. You guys be in here and just fucking deal with them. You guys get rel- you, well, you, sorry, you're not guys, you're just Nezra. Get relatively close so you can provide thingy. I know what thingy is. I'll tell- I'll show you a thingy if you don't shut up. Archers! March in ordered ranks! Start moving the gunners around. If we can get them into a decent position to actually help, that would be amazing. Uh, yeah, you guys are taking damage because you're being shot. I'm aware. I'll heal you. Don't worry. Change up your position so you don't accidentally get caught in melee. You guys are actually doing great. You're just keeping them still. 
great as this all is, you probably should shoot back at their archers, hey? push up and at least slow them down. It's going fine over there. Push to there so you can start firing. We you right head them off. They battle without honor. Profitess. Swiftly. Hurry. At speed. Host haste. Alas, you can't really take a whole unit of dwarfs. Heal the green knight. He's suffering. Lure them around a bit. Don't stop to fight, just knock him over and keep going. Knights are apparently not doing very well, they'll need to pull out and maybe charge back in. Keep firing, please. How's Green Knight doing? Still badly, yep. You guys can keep firing at those dwarfs, Abby. Yeah, fucking wonderful. Thank you. Nezra has killed two people. Two dwarfs have fallen by Nezra's spells. Two whole dwarfs. Oh, God, no. Nope, 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 nope. I need to bring you guys around. You need to come up there. You just need to hold them for just a moment, if you could. Just stop them from doing stuff. I think they're being shot at. They just charged into melee. It's fine. Okay. Heroes are doing all right. Can heal themselves for a while. Have we got any more magic? Yeah, plenty. It just needs to recharge. Knights are almost ready. She needs to get them more into position. God, the handgun has melted. The issue we face is that, like, look at the archery duel that took place, for instance. We lost hard. You guys need to deal with them. She cannot stay in melee anymore. No, the archers are not happy either. There we go. Out, out you go, Nezra. Out you go. No more melee for you. Knight, stop pushing her back into melee. She's not a knight. She's a prophetess. There's a fucking difference. Let her out. It's not her job. It is worth pointing out that we are not winning in melee, uh, so I really need these guys to pick it up. Of On you two to back out and help the Green Knight. Tancred. Deal with Belagar or this will never end. Need you to deal with their archers, stop them firing for a moment. Just a moment. You both have means of healing. Use them. How typical of Clan Angren, a problem right up to the end. 
Uh, you don't need to go back up in the air. You just keep attacking them. Uh, that and excuse me, that's not the matchup I fucking requested. Now is it? You will fight, Tancred. You will. You are not going to get back to your fucking guns. Don't worry about it. Just shoot. Shoot any dwarf you can find in the back. In the back. Like they belong. Like they deserve. Like they belong and deserve. A little bit of a risky maneuver here, but I need to heal multiple units and I'm running out of spells. So get in there, Nezra. Also, this will help our balance of power, which is necessary. Good, now get the fuck out of there. The thing is, Sancred can absolutely win that fight. The problem is he's being shot at. And there's not a lot we can do about it right now. He is kind of winning. Ah, uh, the Green Knight's nearly... Ah, uh, can we get him out of there, perhaps? Just get him in some trees. Just get him in some trees. Just get him in some trees before he dies. Just get him in some trees. He just needs some trees. He just needs some leafy greens. It'll be okay. Come on, buddy. Come on. Too sweet indeed. Monge too, buddy. Monge too. Go slap them because you can heal while you're doing it. And you have like forestman or woodsman or something, which means you don't suffer penalties in the trees. And that's good. More healing time. Now he's regenerating, which is very good. The Quarrelers probably won't do much to him. If he dies, even anyway, even after I've done that, well, that's on him. You've nearly done it, Tancred, just a little bit more. Those dwarfs still haven't broken. <laughs> you see what I mean? They just don't fucking leave the battlefield ever. It is the worst. It is so bad. Green Knight's gone back to being a positive influence on the army now in that he's gaining us bal balance of power by healing and killing the enemy instead of just getting fucking bodied. More healing. More healing. There are literally three long beards left in that unit and they still haven't broken. Now, granted, they do have Belagar with them, like literally standing next to them. That is a factor, but still. <laughs> I could have King Le Luan Leonker standing himself standing next to these soldiers and they would still fucking rout. Okay, they're gone. Don't worry about them anymore. In fact, yeah, the battle's over. Do not let Belagar get away. Obviously, there are some slayers we still need to deal with. All of you, pile in. Oh, that was stressful. I'll cut this in post, but I'm going to run down as many of these fuckers as I can, because we can't afford to have them attack us again. I just can't afford these losses. I can't afford these battles. They all need to die. Hey, we didn't lose any units. Big success. Ish. Still a Pyrrhic victory, because the amount of replenishment we're going to have to do is going to take an age. I can get to them as well. Yes. Kick them out of this region entirely. No more Clan Angrand. Get out of here. Go nut Grobies somewhere else. Ah, oh, sweet relief. Protector of the realm. Now, we replenish like shit in our own territory, but we actually replenish pretty well in friendly territory, so let's go there. Noble, striking out! 
Do you take me for a churl? Your cunning was for Yeah, it's not amazing, but it's decent. Yes. Lord Tancred is level 40. He sure has done a lot of fucking fighting. Get you guys some swordsmen. May as well have three full stacks. And I'm thinking... How's Malekith looking? I am the Witch King. Level 21 and a fairly basic army. I reckon... With two armies... With two forces consisting of three stacks each, we could just roll over the Dark Elves. Push them out of the mountains entirely. Then start hitting Karakadrin in the back. Maybe kick them out of the region entirely. The Dark Elves have to go. They're going to be a problem. And they're holding territory that I need. You know who I am? Is there still a storm here? No, it's just deep waters. Okay, I can take that. You're at war with the Ice Court, which is weird and inconvenient, but I think we can work together here. Also, God, I need money. Like, yeah, around about that much. Very wise. I am the Grand Hierophant. It intrigues me to barter with you, correct? Oh, he's doing quite well, but the dwarfs are attacking him. But wouldn't you know it? We have a fucking landing point. Friendly, yeah. Friendly territory to land on. Thank you, Kartep. Jesus Christ, you're fucking useful. Oh, Reichland. Hail to Leon Kor. How can the Empire aid you in such evil times? Uh, you can give me passage and pay me a shit ton of money if you would. All right. <laughs> cool. All right, thanks. I can travel through their land. Nice, helpful. You know who I am? We go through here and boom, we're golden. Sir de Bois has finally landed in this region. Now we just push up through the north. We help the exiles of Nehek deal with um, the ancestral throng. Take Dracula's Spire. Hopefully we can get up there and take it before they do. Actually, it doesn't even matter because our allies can own the place as well. We just need to make sure either we or in the heck take Dracula. And if we do, that's another victory thing achieved. Well, I say another. We haven't done any yet, but once I take Karakazorn, that will change. Malekith is there, though, and he's a little spooky. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm just going to start pushing it into his territory, because fuck him, basically. They did take Blizzard Peak, that's not surprising. It looks like Harrier failed to take Ice Spewer. To be fair, it does have a 17 strong garrison, so that doesn't surprise me. As much as I'd love these guys to get involved in the war, mm, I just don't see it happening, really. Attempting to attack is... It's not gonna work. <laughs> They're just not good enough. I've seen how quickly these peasants break. I must keep my holy vow. No! Now that we've got a lot of money, there's something we need to focus on. We need to start getting these armories set up. And also investing in the economy, to be fair. That is important, but... We need to get these uh, provincial capitals set up so we can start churning out armor upgrades for everyone. He's on Force March. Should I be able to take him? It doesn't look great. If we could knock out Malekith at the start of the war, that would do everything. Yeah, fuck it. We'll start the war by... Uh, well, actually, Manage we'll start the war by taking defeat. Blood Peak. Not surprisingly, Blessed Red and Harganeth are also going to join in. But fuck them. No. Once again, the Uncle Kindred refuse to join in because they're Come shit. Course. Noble. We just want these guys to push through, perhaps not too far, before uh, me and Tancred can catch up. And then we'll have a lot of forces to deal with Karakadrin together. I'd be shocked if the game lets come out of this with no casualties. We'll see if that's actually true. Down he goes. 
Oh, we didn't lose any units. That's genuinely surprising, actually. All right, no lost units. A ton of money, and I'll get a defeat trait for it. Nice. Banner of Swiftness, which is amazing, by the way. Servant. Killed in battle, killed in battle, killed in battle. Savior for Tancred. Oh, nice. Didn't know he didn't have that. Immortal Unbeloved, which gives me Frenzy, which makes me a lot tougher. And if I can get um, Unbreakable as well, then I will always have plus 10% weapon damage, armor piercing weapon damage, charge bonus, and plus 10 melee attack. And that would be pretty good. Do you know who I am? Doesn't account for much in auto resolve, but accounts for lo a lot on the battlefield. Why do I not have extra missile resistance yet? <laughs> oh, oh, that's bad. Oh, that's a lot of dwarfs. Hmm. Yeah. Guardian of Bretonia. That's uh, that's a few. That's a couple. That's uh. Sallying forth. That's a that's Lord. a sprinkling of dwarfs. And you know what they're gonna do? I can I can tell you what they're gonna do. I go and I can tell you that there's very little defense against it for us. They're going to encircle and then attack these two armies separately. I can fucking see it. Lord and hero. But Granite Spikes is as heavily defended as it can possibly be. Even if those two don't get involved. The garrison itself has 19 units. Well, it's not as heavily garrisoned as it could possibly be. You can fit one more unit in there, but I don't have any other buildings that could do that. I don't think. Let me have a look at the building. It's too late now. I wouldn't have time, but let me have a look. I don't think there are any other buildings that provide garrison units. Nah, so this is as big as we can physically make it. He is at least suffering attrition. Very, very, very small amounts of attrition, but he is suffering attrition. He's got flame cannons. That seems like it's ideal for dealing with hordes of peasants. And the Iron Drakes who are also ideal for dealing with hordes of peasants. And Slayers who are ideal for dealing with hordes of peasants. Stop that! Bunch of heavily armored infantry and siege weapons. Meanwhile, we have, I don't know, some guns, some, pe uh, some archers, a uh, unit of mortars. Uh... The Frostworms could be effective if they manage to get around their sides. Shadow Warriors are not, uh, not particularly useful for this. Some archers. Protector of the realm. Pistoliers are practically worthless. I don't like our odds. Highest. Bunch of Chaff Infantry because that's all Bretonian Infantry are. More archers. Grail Knights who honestly there aren't enough of them and a siege is an enclosed situation so Cavalry's usefulness becomes very limited. <sighs> don't like how it looks. I reckon Granite Spikes will fall. The only good news is that we may deal a lot of damage to them and that will distract their forces which may allow us to just push through here and clear out the rest of their stuff. But it requires these guys to move quickly. Very quickly. The scary thing is that even if we army lost them, we still have to deal with Ungrim. He has to, like in order to beat him, he has to die. The, the AI will not pull him back. They won't have him retreat. They're just not going to do that. Okay, but I'm going to leave it there, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I'll leave you on this cliffhanger. Can we take him? No. No, we can't. No. No fucking way. No not a way. fucking chance. I am mentally debating whether or not I should pull these guys back, but it's worth pointing out. Having a quick look around. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. This is all the way that it is. Yep. Granite Spikes is the best defensive position we have. This is the most fortified position we have. This is the place. If we ha if these three armies have a chance of doing anything to hold these guys back, it's here. Nowhere else. Not at the fucking Bastion, not at the Fortress of Eyes, not at Nangao, not at Kunlan, none of these places. It would all, anything they can do will be at Granite Spikes. It shall be so. That's it. So, yeah, they're just gonna have to do their best, really, aren't they? Unless we get wildly lucky and they decide that they're gonna go after the fucking elves, which seems unlikely. Infused by Hoeth's wisdom. Hoeth have not proven to be particularly useful, probably because they still don't own any settlements that aren't in the chaotic wasteland, which means they replenish their armies or recruit new units agonizingly slowly. And what are they taking from us, might you ask? Oh, you know. <laughs> Mounted yeoman, peasant bowmen, and peasant mobs? No wonder they're fucking losing. 
whatever. Whether or not this turns out well, and it won't, will be decided next time. Thank you so much for watching. Oh my god. Special thanks to Lip Potatoes, Proxy, Kamenera, Hearthland, Herrick J, Dresso, Seon Distance, Lol, Final Legend, Etherbin, Linky, Zeon Cedar, Bimblewort, Majoko, My Moon, Alkir, Sweet Baby Red, Jessicity, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Lapa Lullaby, K-Bub, Magic Owl, The Frostbite, Monsoon, Warmaster, QSCP 106A, Namad, and Kenny T800 for support me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. Uh, well, I think next episode's gonna be very sad. I think it's gonna be very sad because Toddy, Ledouard, and Ragnarok are going to die. They're just gonna die. <laughs> They're just gonna fucking die. They're so screwed. I don't know what to do for them. I've given them every possible uh, benefit I can, except for the fact that they're all rocking peasant mobs. Uh, maybe they shouldn't have been rocking peasant mobs. What I should have been doing in retrospect, and it's obviously too late now, but what I should have been doing is that all the time that they were sat in granite spikes, I should have been slowly replacing the peasant mobs with like men at arms. Not that that makes much of a difference, it really fucking doesn't, but just stuff that's a little bit stronger, but it's far too late for that now. <laughs> now what will happen will happen. And Ungrim is literally bringing like a, an artillery battery. He's just brought a dwarf weapons team. That's what he's got is a dwarf weapons team, which is nightmarish. And then the rest are bringing stuff like long beards and, and melee infantry and stuff and plenty of flamethrowers. I just don't see it turning out well, but maybe it will. But whether or not it will, and it won't, <laughs> I promise you, <laughs> when that happens, I hope I see you there. Doodles, goodbye. Oh, God.